here we are going to see ACS 880 VFD module this is the main display of the VFD this is the warning indication to hide just press here this is the monitoring window this is the model of VFD here we can able to see motor operating voltage current which is taken by motor and also operating frequency here we can have a local and remote switch right now it is in local if you press it it will change into remote if you want to back to local again we have to press the local and remote switch again This indicate the motor direction. If you want to change the direction of the motor, just go to the option on that you can able to see the directional change. Press it, you can notice on the display the direction is changed. In front display, you can see metering. When you press left or right key, you can see more metering available such as speed torque of the motor. If you press up and down key from the main metering display, it will increase or decrease the system frequency. In option, we also can see actual fault, actual warning. If we have a fault trip or any warning, we can able to see over here. It will be stored. Next, we see editing home view. Over here, you can also able to change the display menu, scale, etc. according to the option we have. Now we can see menu. In menu we have parameter, assistance, energy efficiency, event log, history graph, settings, system info. On settings we have option, language changing option, date changing option, display changing option. You can see it here. If you want we can change according to your requirement. If you want to see the full detail of your drive, you can see on system info. Overall this parameter menu is very important because all the input data which is required for drive running will be feeded over here. Let's see the parameter. In parameter, 
over complete list over here we have under list in that 99th list we have for motor data here we feed all motor data according to the motor ratings and customer requirement of the motor speeds etc over 49th list we have panel port communication over here we make address id and board rate for mode bus and profibus communication 10th list we have di status over here you can see all di input which is active or deactive for vfd now i am going to show a demo of vfd running for hma start the vfd should be in local then check all di are okay for start because if you get any external trip then vfd will not start if all condition should be satisfy then check isolator should be in close condition then we can press the start button the vfd will make the contact to pick up and start to build up voltage and frequency gradually according to the our settings you can notice now the vfd is running we achieve the setted frequency and rated voltage and you can see the direction of the motor rotating when you press the stop button the vft will stop the motor and handling the acs model of vft is very simple if you think this video is useful for your friends you can share this to them thank you for watching this video